Welcome to the Published Plot. I'm Nate. I'm Jessica. And I'm Mike. Today we are here once again with our Women's Month. Women's Women's History Month. Covering another one of the great and multitudinous uh, ladies within the church who have been of significant renown. Nice. Yes. Today I decided to pick one who more people probably can relate to because she she was uh, known for being a wife and a mother. Plus, as a bonus, she has a bunch of Italian names I can make the guys say. The names are multitudinous. Yes. So today, we are talking about Blessed Maria Corsini Beltrame Quattro, Ro- Quattro Rochi. Yes. Quattro Rochi. Yes. She was born June 24th, 1884 in what was the kingdom of Ital- Italy at mm-hmm. the time. Mm-hmm. And then she died August 26th in 1965. In Florence, Italy. Yeah. And her feast day is not the day she died. Because her feast day is November 25th, which was the day that she got married to her spouse, who is also a blessed. Blessed Luigi. Beltrame Quattroci. Yes, because he was a sort of adopted by an uncle, so he had a double last name, which is why she had so many, mm-hmm. so many last so names. Then you take her maiden name plus his two, and that's how she gets mm-hmm. four. And yep. they were the first couple to be beatified together in 2001. Now, it's important to note, the most famous couple to be together are um, Louis and Zelie Martin. Mm-hmm. They were the first couple to be canonized together, whereas Blessed Maria and Blessed Luigi are still just beati. Yes. She is a patron of mothers, families, married couples, and volunteers. And I believe her husband is a patron of fathers and lawyers, because that's what he did as a job. Hmm. Along with families and married couples. Nice. Well, yeah, those are things they share. Yeah. Yes. Now, of course, it's important to note that one of the many great accomplishments of Blessed Maria is getting Blessed Luigi to heaven. Because when they first got married, he was not a very faithful man. No. No. He was a good and moral man, but not at all a religious man from any of the information. While she was, as a daughter of a noble family, Ooh. had gone to um, well-educated by Paris priests, by school run by nuns, and eventually by state schools as well. And was actually a professor of education and also was a lecturer, which, you know, is, in this case, like a professor, only she was a female, so she just pretty much, you know, yeah. gave speeches for the university. They wouldn't give her the title of professor. Yeah. So, as I understand it, they had four children. Um so, Filippo, Filippo in 1906, uh, Stefania in 1908, uh, Cesare in 1909, and Enriqueta in 1914. And, wow, okay, so, pretty much, uh, clearly, if, if mom was the most religious one when all this started out, mm-hmm. uh, clearly mom's faith rubbed off on... Everybody in that family, because mm-hmm. I'm looking mm-hmm. at a priest, a nun, a monk, mm-hmm. and a servant of God. Yes, yes. Their youngest daughter never joined religious orders. She never got married. She lived a life as a single person, largely helping out her family, taking care of other people. But yes, she's a, currently a servant of God on you know, the path to sainthood. Nice. All right. Now... It's possible that she was living as a consecrated virgin, but before the council revived yeah. consecrated virginity. Yeah, there's some talk that she, you know, personally made a vow, but yeah. it wasn't an official public vow like yeah. there's done now. Yeah, yeah. Well, again, yeah, that didn't come until after the council, so, yeah. Yep. Um, besides dedicating herself to her family and taking care of them, mm-hmm. uh, she also worked with several charitable groups, movements, and organizations through the years. Uh, she was a member of the Women's Catholic Action mm. and was part of the General Council of the Italian Catholic Women's Association. Mm. Um, she helped in establishing a Catholic university. Uh, she was a catechist and involved in a lot of the marriage and family groups within her parish and, you know, in general in the area. Uh, plus, remember, also, mother of four mm. and university lecturer. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Yes, she worked for the Red Cross during the Second Italian-Ethiopian War, as well as in World War II. And in World War II, she also sheltered Jews and other refugees in her house, because she was, again, Italian, so 
Mm-hmm. They needed to find a place to be. Mm-hmm. Uh, she also helped in the founding of multiple Catholic organizations. Okay, I think I got this one. Um, so let's see, ASCI or the Associazione Associazione Scouts Catholici Italiani. Yes, which appears to be a scouting organization that was, you know, Italian and, and Catholic. Catholic. Nice. <laughs> Azionzi Cattolica. Which was at the time the largest Catholic lay organization in Italy. And Unitalsi. Which was designed to help um, people who had infirmaries or, um, you know. Infirmities, I believe you mean. Yes. Infirmary is a hospital. Yes. An, infirm- an infirmity is an ailment. Yes. Or they were, you know, like in wheelchairs or crutches and things like that that would have mobility issues, mm-hmm. go on pilgrimages, especially Aww. in places like Lourdes, where it's known for healing. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Get them to the waters. Yes. Cool. And she also, as mentioned in the other thing with the organizations, did a lot of stuff with um, helping scouting organizations and groups for the poor of Rome. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this sounds super fancy on paper, but in real life, she was the scout den mom. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it, everything just sounds fancier in Italian. It does. Mm-hmm. You know, this is stuff that I mean, you uh, probably know people who do similar things, not mm-hmm. necessarily all of them because, you know. I mean, to be honest, I kind of want to join the Associazione <laughs> Scouts Catholici Italiani. You don't speak Italian, Nate. I don't, but. He can learn. I can learn. <laughs> Fair enough. I can get better at this. Just don't, just don't cancel me now. I'm sorry, man. I didn't, I didn't mean to sell you short. <laughs> yes. So she was, she was a working mother mm-hmm. and a dead mother. Yes. Yeah. Living out the universal call to holiness. Yes. Uh, she wrote essays and books on topics that you would expect, given what she did. Education, Education religion, family, and spiritual upbringing of children. Because because clearly, clearly she, she, she rocked she that. <laughs> 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 and of course, as you would expect from you know a den mom, they enjoyed sports. They mm-hmm. enjoyed trips. They like the seaside. They like the mountains. All the Italians like their mountains. Have you seen their mountains? Their mountains they're, are beautiful. They're beautiful. Oh yeah. I mean, our mountains are hills compared to their mountains. So. Yes. Plus, they're very scenic. Well, that's because half of their mountains aren't made out of giant piles of garbage that we then just went and made covered over resorts. with dirt and grass. <laughs> Michigan is an aggressively flat place. We have to make our own hills. And also, her house was essentially the place where everyone was at. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It was completely common for friends to be over all the time. However, it was also completely common for the needy people who needed food to come over all the time. Well, so, this is what the Lord Jesus tells us. When you have a party, don't invite. You know, the fancy folks or the folks who can invite you back. Invite the blind. Invite the lame. That's what she was doing. She was opening her home to those who, you know, bear the distressing disguise of Christ. Yes. And the the three of her children that were still living in 2001. This is awesome. Were all there at their parents' beatification. Which I gotta say, just sounds really incredible. You know, the, mm-hmm. the, 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 the priest, the monk, and the nun. Yeah. Yeah. Well... The the nun was the one who passed away early. Oh, it yeah. was the the one who never the, the married, and never religion. you know mm-hmm. officially. Yeah, the the, pri- mm-hmm. the priest passed away shortly thereafter. But he held on to see his parents be alive. Uh, uh, the monk made it several more years, but not a lot. And and, and apparently the 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 youngest uh, passed away in t- in twenty twelve. Well, but I mean these people have incredibly long lives. Nineteen oh six to two thousand three. Nineteen oh eight to nineteen ninety three. Nineteen oh nine to two thousand eight. Yeah, the servant of God made it made it ninety eight years. Mm-hmm. Uh, the monk made it ninety nine. <laughs> uh, the the nun. Uh, oh, the, only eighty five. Uh, only eighty five. <laughs> Well, and, and, in this family, and, and, that's the underachiever. And the priest, and the priest made it to uh, to ninety seven. Well, I mean, none too shabby. Yeah, she, she was a nun, so she probably wasn't out camping as much as everyone else. You know, fresh air and stuff. <laughs> yeah, she was in the cloister too much. She needed more fresh air. But so you don't need to be a religious. You don't need to be a hermit. You don't need to be a missionary who crosses oceans and traverses mountains. Just live your life. You know, be a mother. Be an educator. Be a den mother. 
be an Italian who likes mountains, because apparently all the saints that are Italians like them. Think, think if you're the Italian who doesn't like mountains. You get made fun of all the time. We're going I, to the mountains. Oh, the mountains oh. again. I, I'm now just imagining how disappointed, you know, Pope John Paul II was. Of, mm. You know, I get to go to Italy where all this great skiing is like... I have to be in charge of everything. I gotta be the Pope. <laughs> Son of a gun. I would like to take a vacation. <laughs> that's, that's what he was doing when he did all those pilgrimages. <laughs> he got to get out and about. Yeah. He had boundless energy. Seriously. <laughs> so just wh- whatever you are called to do, whether you're called to be a mother, you know, whatever your job is, you can be a saint just in your average everyday life. Just, you, be, just be the saint God made you to be. You know, just do ordinary things with great love. You don't need to do extraordinary things. It's all about how much love you put into whatever it is you do. And Blessed Maria apparently put a lot of love into what she was doing. Clearly. I mean, she had everybody coming over to her house. And again, she got her she got her husband to heaven. Yeah. As Jess can tell you, that's a difficult task. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I can't he speak not on have... it yet. He's not dead. <laughs> therefore, they can't tell. <laughs> Jury's still out. Jury's still out. I, I... <laughs> I'm on the right road, but I can take I can take a wrong turn any any day now. I have faith in you, buddy. That's good. One of us one of us should. I'm I'm just surprised you didn't say that we should ski more because clearly Saints ski. Maybe we should ski more. It's been a long time. We're Sunny Bono, man. I don't want to I don't want to run into a tree. There are trees on the hills we have in Michigan. I mean, I've there seen, are there are hills, I've seen there trees are, at Boyne. There are trees in on the pictures the hill. I've seen it. I've never been skiing. Yeah, we're not really like the athletic channel. <laughs> <laughs> so, blessed Maria and blessed Luigi, pray for us. So, go down below to the, to the comment section. Leave us a comment once again, as we as we always say when we're doing when we're doing saints. Leave us a comment of a saint you'd like us to talk about. We had somebody who did it a couple months ago, and that was how we got uh, St. Martin of Tours. We need more saints. Hey, so just proof that, you know, if you give us a saint, we'll talk about them. Mm-hmm. Yes, because this is the end of the month of, of women's history. I, I checked April. There's not really any good month-long celebrations that work with the saints. Because the, the closest thing we had is it's National autism month and as we don't know who was autistic i could argue that saint thomas aquinas probably was but you know <laughs> but there's no definitive proof of that no <laughs> he's a large man but still just one man so it's not gonna last through the whole month i guess we'll just have to talk about easter and 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 and, and i believe latin history month doesn't come around latin american history month doesn't come around until like september I and believe. it starts in the middle of the month, month. it starts in the middle of a month <laughs> someone remind us <laughs> But if we keep mentioning it, there's a slight chance... We'll Remind us in August that we need to do that. <laughs> but while you're down there leaving us, a com- leaving us a comment of great sayings that we need to talk about, also go hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it, so you get notified when our next episode comes out. Hit the like button, because we like you, and we hope you <laughs> like us. And remember, we've got that deal going on with our good friends over at, the Catholic, over at Catholic Balm Co., if you go there now and you buy yourself some fancy some fancy products to keep your to keep yourself looking and feeling great and smelling fantastic, you yes, can use the. Dis- I suggest because you know we won't be able to necessarily have a big Easter. Get you know a chrism scented something because you're not allowed to go and smell all the new baptized Christians. <laughs> I have the I, when we when we got our order in, uh, I got the Ambry beard oil in chrism and it is. Super chrismy. So, so remember, use the code PLOT2021 for 10% off. Yep, so just put that in it as your discount code at checkout. So you get 10% off. You'll help support youth ministers around the world. And you'll help support us here on your on your on on the internet. <laughs> and until next time, remember to live your faith. Love your faith. Share, Share that, that love. love.